Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing well. Super Mario Rancic does it again. I love Mario. I'm sure everyone in the Norwich City fan base loves Mario Rancic too. Norwich City 1, Birmingham 0. Norwich City put in a very good performance but struggled to obviously score against Birmingham. But in the 87th minute, Mario Rancic with a lovely strike low into the bottom corner and Norwich City win the game. Thanks to a really good strike from Mario Rancic. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you are new to Norwich City Central, please do consider subscribing for consistent match reviews, match previews and a lot of interesting content which is coming your way very, very soon. And I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's a bit weird, a bit surreal to you know not be at Carrow Road and when Mario Rancic puts that late goal in. Um, it, just, it, it felt a bit weird, you know, you used to seeing thousands of fans behind the Barkley going crazy, hugging strangers, you know, when late goals go in. And it's it's tough not to kind of be there at the moment. Um, you know, it, it helps mental health. It helps, you know, so many good things, the football. But, you know, it's really important that Norris, you still get the points on the board and you can still celebrate from home. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section about this game. I thought Norris City did play very well. I thought it was our best performance of the season, without a doubt. Yes, that's not saying much, but... God, I love Mario Rancic. I just, I just love Mario Rancic so much. He's so, such a brilliant footballer. His range of passing. And what I love about Mario Rancic the most is he's, he scores in so many decisive moments. He was our second top scorer in the 18-19 season. Scores so many late goals. Scores so many important goals. He's just there at the right time. And uh, yeah, big, big big love to Mario Rancic. Um, Let's, let's let's start from the beginning of this game. And as I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Get them uh, below in the comment section. I thought Norwich City, in terms of the lineup, it was a very attacking lineup. It was interesting to see Pukki and Hugel both start. It was essentially a 4-1-1 four, four, one, one with Pukki just, um, just behind Hugel. Interesting to see Campbell to come back into the side as well. Um, and it's just it's just brilliant to have Aaron's Brendy and Campbell still at the club. Campbell put in a man the match performance according to Sky Sports for me. I mean, stay tuned to find out who was my man in the match, but I didn't think it was Campbell, despite him having a decent game. Um, but no, it was a really attacking lineup, and right from the front, Norris City played really well in terms of getting the ball forward, nice passages of play, getting the ball out wide. Quintilla must have had about 20 crosses in that first half. I love that guy as well. I love the way his attitude in terms of he just whips in that ball and he's got a great delivery in. Norris City, yeah, play, played really well in, in terms of that first half. We were trying to cut through the middle of the pitch, and it didn't quite work out at times. Um, I thought Birmingham with their 3-4-3 three, three, were very structured, they defended well, but God, I must hate to be a Birmingham fan at the moment watching Michael Karanka's football. Karanka's just a boring manager. Um, really, really do feel sorry for Birmingham fans because if you're watching that kind of football a week in, week out, I do sympathise with you. Birmingham showed no intent to try and go and win the game. Whenever they had the ball, they just boot it long to Scott Hogan. Um, yeah, really disappointing by Birmingham. And um, they were anti-football. That's how I describe Birmingham. Boring, boring Birmingham, anti-football. Um, but I respect, you know, I respect a lot of clubs are going to try and sit back behind the wall and just, you know, pray to, pray, pray to you know, keep it nil-nil and then statue late winner at the end. That's what Derby did with the Wayne Rooney free kick. But yeah, Norris City... Yeah, it was tough to break through them. We had did have some really good chances towards the end of the first half, mainly from Todd Cantwell. Um, Todd Cantwell went down kind of injured in the box and he gets back up. He's almost like Suarez from back in the early 2010s. Gets back up and really should be scoring from 12 yards out. And, and, and it was just wide at the post. And then again, Cantwell, brilliant press from Norris City to rob the Birmingham defender. He's through one-on-one -on, -one on goal. Should he square it to Jordan Hoogle? Probably could even cut it back to Timu Pukki, but he goes alone. And it just it was just straight at the keeper. And Norris City, nil-nil at half-time. Our best two chances were from Todd Cantwell. But we were playing some nice football, some really nice passing football. Buendia and Lucas Rupp were kind of overloading the middle of the pitch. But that was the problem. Birmingham, a lot of players in the middle of the pitch. And it was really tough to break them down. And whenever we did get the ball to Max Arras and Queen Tila, they were really good at defending those crosses. And in the second half, it was more the same. Birmingham just sitting back. Being very, being very much anti-football, playing some very boring football. Um, and we kind of struggled to break them down. Uh, Todd Campbell had another really good chance. It was really was the Todd Campbell show. And uh, he'll be disappointed not to be on the score sheet, Todd Campbell, because he got into some very good positions. He had a good effort from a Max Aaron's cross, um, but it was blocked. Um, and that was it, really. Norwich City just kept huffing and puffing. Um, whenever we got the ball out wide, they would defend it really well. And we did try and play in the middle 
Uh, normally we would get to like the edge of the box and they would just keep defending it and keep, and keep putting it away. And Norwich City really kind of struggled to thread through that final ball. And occasionally Norwich City would go a bit long and Jordan Hoog, I think Norwich City were most successful in this game when Jordan Hoogle and Timo Pukki were starting to run in behind because the first half, it was a little bit static, but when Jordan Hoogle and Timo Pukki started to run in behind it, then then Todd Campbell had a lot of space and Buendia had a lot of space in the middle of the pitch to start spreading those through balls and to start having um, shots on goal. Um, Birmingham never really threatened. They had one counter-attack, Buendia. Um, very poor in the middle of the pitch, gives the ball away. Um, and they have a strike at goal from 20 yards. It's a nice, simple save from Tim Krull. Tim Krull could have had a cup, cup you know, a cup of coffee, um, a cup of tea in the goal and he wouldn't have been bothered too much. He, he, he was pretty much fine in that respect. Um, yeah, and, and then Norris City, we, we brought on Adam Eder, whose pace kind of changed the game. He obviously got this the assist for the Mario Rancic goal. Um, I'd like to see Adam Eder get more and more football. I think there's a brilliant football in there. And then footballer in there. And then with 10 minutes to go, Oliver Skip comes on and Mario Rancic comes on. And yeah, what a difference he made. Um, with Adam Eder, we started to stretch to play more. We, we occasionally did it with Hugel and Pukki. But Adam Eder did really stretch to play and allowed more space in the middle. Um, and that's where the goal came from. Buendia, who had a mixed game. He, he gave the ball away very sloppily at times, but equally... Um, you know, put in some brilliant interceptions and, and, and kept the moves ticking. So it's a mixed performance ball from Wendia, but he plays a nice ball in and out into Adam Eder. Adam Eder takes a touch on his left, it then Mario Rancic falls perfectly for him, 18 yards out, smashes it into the bottom corner. The Cardiff goalkeeper did get a touch on it, um, but it wasn't enough. And bloody, I bloody love Mario Rancic. He's such a good footballer, isn't he? Um, and, and Norwich won their up and Birmingham never really threatened. But just before the goal as well, another red card, obviously, in the Rotherham game, there was a red card. And in the Birmingham game, there was a red card with, um, God, I can't forget, was it Clayton who got a red card? I forget his name, sorry. Um, but yeah, he got a red card in the 85th minute. And as I said, the goal came from Birmingham trying to play. Scott Hogan, Scott Hogan loses the ball. Eddie Buendia intercepts and then eventually Mario Ranchett sticks it into the back of the net. Um, and look, Norris City never really looked like conceding until the 90th minute. And, you know, although we kept a clean sheet and although I'm happy with Grant Handy and Ben Gibson, um, I'm still not entirely convinced by those two because all it takes is, you know, a side to try and attack us and to actually want to play football and then we're under threat. Um, look, just because Ben Gibson and Grant Handy got clean sheets, it doesn't mean they're the best defenders in the world because we had 80% of the possession. But in the 90th minute when Birmingham did decide to put a couple of crosses in the box, Grant Hanley didn't really deal with a lot of crosses and Scott Hogan had a really good chance, but he just couldn't prod the ball into the back of the net. Some brilliant defending from Andy Buendia. And then it was absolutely ridiculous. Norris City were chasing a second goal um, and we lose the ball and then suddenly Birmingham were four and three on a counter-attack. Lucky enough, the Birmingham centre-back was up at the top, um, top of the pitch. And uh, yeah, some really poor, uh, well, really poor shot from him and Norris City win the game 1-0. But our game management at the end wasn't great. But Norris City deserved the win. It was our best performance of the season. Some really nice football. It was great to see Buendia and Cantwell get into some good pockets in the midfield. And it was even better to see Mario Rancic in the 87th minute score that goal. Because it looked like I was frustrated. Despite the good performance, it didn't look like we was going to score. But you can always rely on a, a bit of brilliance from Super Mario, Super Mario to get Norwich three points. My man in the match was Lucas Rip. I thought he was absolutely fantastic in the middle of the pitch. Um, definitely not afraid to take a shot as well. Really, really good performance from Lucas Rook. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Who was your man in the match? Um, and it's back-to-back -back wins for Norris City as well. With Wickham coming up, it's a great chance for Norris City to explode into those top six spots. Thanks for watching this match review. Subscribe if you're new. And let's hope we can all be back at Cairo Road very, very soon. Um, but in the meantime, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you later.